Fetch is a piece of technology that's uh, a free swimming robot, and there's an acronym for that. It's called an Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, or AUV for short. Uh, the best way to think about these free swimming robots is that they're taxi cabs for sensors. So we can put a water quality sensor, we could put an underwater video, we could put a side scan sonar on the robot, or we could put all three at the same time and send the robot out to do the dirty, dull, and dangerous work that we might not want to do ourselves. Uh, this video shows uh, the very first fetch I developed, Fetch 1, down in Florida, swimming near a coral reef. And it shows some interesting behavior. We're actually going to see the robot wake up at the surface and start doing what we call a yo-yo pattern. Uh, a yo-yo is just as it sounds. It's, it's when the robot uh, goes from the surface down to the bottom and then back up again. Uh, so this pattern allows us to sample the water column very efficiently. And when you combine a yo-yo with mowing the lawn, uh, now we've got a three-dimensional view of what's going on in the water column as well as what's happening on the seafloor. Unlike a person, the robot doesn't get tired, so it can just keep going and going and come back when it's got all the data that we requested it to go out and get. All this technology is trying to solve a problem that oceanography has had since its uh, foundation as a science back in the mid-1800s, and that is that the ocean changes faster than we have the ability to observe. To see what's happening underwater, we're building these ocean observatories to understand these changes that can sometimes take place very rapidly.